Hey, good morning and welcome back to Woodruff Woods. If it's your first time here, welcome and uh, check around. I got a uh, 170 plus videos out there that uh, you can check out what we do here in this wood yard. But today, um, I am going to be trying out a new piece of equipment. It's on loan from Shaver Equipment. I'm going to go around that machine a little bit later. But right now, I'm going to show you another product that AJ has just gotten in over the past couple of months. And uh, the other day, did a little splitting and tried it out. So I'm going to cut these logs up here so that they're ready while you watch this. Stick around. I'm in the wood yard today. I uh, popped out of work here for a few hours. Frankly, I just needed a break from my desk job. And I'm doing a little therapy down here in the wood yard. I've got the brute force down here. I've got a uh, tractor down here, but I'm trying something new and I wanted to show it to you. So I'm going to turn the camera around. And we'll take a look at what I got here. So what we have here is a sixth of a cord firewood bag. Okay. And these are the lift log bags that, uh, AJ Shaver sells. You can catch him over on Shaver Equipment. ShaverEquipment.com is his website. And uh, his link is always in my uh, description. So if you can't find it, take a look there and uh, link up with AJ. I do not know the price on these. Um, I do think he has them listed on his website. But if not, you can give him a call. I'll put the number right here so it's easy enough for you to get on the phone with AJ and find out about these bags. So you might wonder, well, why am I doing this? So I have a two series John Deere, as you know, 2032R. And this is all mostly red oak. Uh, there was some pin oak in there as well. That two series tractor, it's about all it can do to lift a thir third of a cord. So uh, IBC tote or the regular size log lift bags. So AJ got these bags, maybe for people like that have a tractor similar to my size, uh, who don't really want to put the pressure on their front end and so on. Or um, those people, the one series tractors, the subcompacts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some cameras so you can see what I'm up to. But I'm going to try lifting this with the, uh, with the John Deere 2 series. Uh, I'm thinking I can probably lift it to full height but we're gonna find out. I do have it sitting on a pallet. Uh, the reason I do that is to keep it up off the ground. Obviously helps the, the wood dry a little bit better. So uh, I'm gonna get the tractor turned around here and uh, we'll see what we can do with this thing. See if we can lift this up pretty high. I can go to full height if I tilt it back. I'm almost there. I can rev up a little too. As you can see, I could easily put this in the back of a pickup, in a dump trailer, whatever I need to do. And these bags, if you see there at the bottom, uh, have loops in them so you can dump them easily. I'll idle back down here a little bit so I don't have to fight the engine noise. But uh, I do think this is going to be an easier way for some of these heavier woods like oak. As you know, oak uh, weighs up pretty heavy. But uh, with the ease that I had in, uh, in moving that, I really do think that I could put just any species of wood in there, I'd be fine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this over. I'm going to uh, sit it somewhere where it gets a lot of sunlight and uh, we'll see it again next year. Just 
grabbed another one of these bags and uh, let me get it hooked up here on the stand. If you're interested in one of these stands, AJ actually has these custom made. This is his design and uh, they're real handy. Um, really great when you have a conveyor feeding it, but uh, I don't have that right now. I have that old farm convey conveyor over there and uh, I've got all the metal to try to try to fix the paddles but uh, I haven't found the time so uh, so anyway AJ was nice enough to loan me this do some videos with it and uh, these things work really great they're all adjustable you can adjust them how wide you want them how tall you want them uh, works real good uh, nice design he's got here it was kind of funny one of my buddies his son works in a uh, metal fabrication shop and uh he watches my videos and he said hey you know i build those at work so it was kind of kind of small world kind of thing but uh, i think this time i'm going to raise these up just a hair you can see these are just t-handles and uh tighten them down and it'll hold it right there in place so so yeah, this this works good. I I can think I like these bags. Um, I've uh, I've mentioned that uh, I've done some studies that the wood does seem to dry just a touch faster in these bags than they do in the IBC totes. We did that test last year, and you know when we're doing bundles and and the wood's in there, the bigger bag when you get towards the bottom, you're kind of you know putting your whole body in there. And Lisa doesn't like that, you know, sometimes there's a mouse in there or something. So um, I think this will work much better uh, for her uh, when she's doing bundling. It worked better for me, too, doing bundling, although Lisa does most of that. So uh, I think I'm going to uh, fire up the brute force here, load up the uh, log lift, and uh, split a little bit more. I'll uh, grab you off the stand and show you what I'm up to today. So... First, I'll uh, point you over there. Oh, right there, we got uh, a third of a cord of black birch. I've got some maple going in here, starting a new toad of black birch, and this is for the oak. So uh, you can see I, I probably have, I'm pretty sure I have enough maple to fill that tote, and I'll probably get the black birch about half full, and there's probably a sixth of a cord of, of uh Eh, maybe not. Maybe not a sixth of a cord of oak there. But uh, I got a small oak right up there in the right in the front here. And uh, I'll zip that up and, and split that as well. Got to finish up the toad of maple. So uh, got that done. It's getting a little chilly now. Wind's picked up a little bit. And uh, sun's starting to go down. But we only have one more week of this. So, uh, you know, I just can't wait for that time to change. And, uh, boy, it just makes life so much easier. But uh, just turn you around. I've only got a few rounds left there. There's some oak in there. A lot of it's black birch. All right, we're back. And it's a couple days later. Um, when I was trying to do this, I cut up some logs, which I'll show you. I cut them into eight foot lengths. And uh, I got done with that. And the skies opened up. It snowed. It rained. We've just had the wettest season here. And... Uh, sick of mud i'm sick of rain but what i'm not sick of is some of the toys that aj shaver sends my way so uh i'm gonna turn this around and show you what we got over here the halverson 100 tr it's got a honda gx 630 engine on it it is electric start and uh it's got uh, a valve deck here that uh, allows you to operate all the functions, which I'll walk around and show you. It is, uh, like I said, a gas engine. This is the gas tank. This is your bar oil. Over here, you have your arm that holds the log down as you're cutting it. And this is your four-way wedge. Uh, you'll have to check with AJ to see if they come with different size wedges. I, I would assume they do. And then uh, it's got this nifty little log lift here. These are the logs I cut while you were watching that last segment. I'm 
I'm gonna practice a little bit, get used to the controls, show you what, uh, what this thing can do. So we've got uh, a variety of maples over there, most of it's soft maple. There's a couple, a couple logs of uh, hard maple in there. So I'll get those uh, loaded up and uh, we'll check this thing out. So you can hear the Halverson, it's uh, cooling itself down over here. Um, we ran, well, probably at least a third of a cord through this. And I gotta tell you, this is great. It's daylight savings time. And for those of us that like to work in the wood yard, especially after work, this is just the best time of the year. Um, I'm not exactly sure what time it is, but it's 6, 6 10 and the sun's not even down yet. So uh, I got some more time here. I got to clean up some of this mess here. Uh, get it put in the tote. Maybe haul one away. Get a new one out here. But uh, really liking the Halverson. Um, takes a little bit getting used to as any machinery does. I was having a tendency to continue to hold the log and, and split. When in fact I really should lift up on the log. Let it go with the ram. Split the, the round that it was just cut then lock it back down, slide the ram back, cut again, and do the process over again. And I was having a little trouble getting that rhythm down. But as you can see, towards the end, I was doing better with that. But uh, I really enjoyed the Halverson. I think, uh, you know, if, 
if there were two people, one person just loading the logs on, the other person just operating the machine, boy, you could you go through a lot of wood in a hurry. But uh, me doing it by myself, I'm back and forth around the, the machine. I'm not exactly sure what they cost. I'm sure if you check out AJ's video on this, he'll have that. He may even have it on his website. Again, it's shaverequipment.com, for those of you that don't know. And uh, you can also look for WD-30 Adventures. He's going to have a video where he was running this, this particular unit. So uh, make sure you stay in touch with WD-30 Adventures to see that. Also, I want to tell you, there's a great video I just saw last night from Fate Farms. He's out there in Pennsylvania, Western Pennsylvania. And uh, he did a really nice video on a table he made or a platform where he can split directly into a, an IBC tote. And so I'd encourage you to check that out. It's pretty innovative. Anyway, that's going to be all for Woodruff Woods tonight. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.